Yeah, I recently made a couple of mistakes on like just recording stuff and forgetting to record stuff. And, or recording everything and then deleting files. Oh, God. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, you ready? Ready. Hey, it's Jason with Jalen Photography and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got with me Kylie. Hello. So Kylie is just like me. I know we don't look the same, but we are <laughs> the exact same. Proud members of the military armed forces. You are army though. I am. I was air force, so one check mark for me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retired, she's active, been in five or six years, right? Almost five years. Almost five years, so absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love supporting people who support the country, so. Awesome. That's fantastic. Anyway, so um, what I kind of wanted to talk about for this episode was to collab or not to collab, and that's basically what we're doing here. And so Kylie actually reached out to me, and so I want to talk about that a little bit, and I'm going to ask Kylie. I'm going to give you the microphone, oh. or I'll just do it like this. Okay. Uh, but why did you reach out? What was it that you were looking for? Um, well, first off, when I your page came across, I think it was from um, Texas Models or San Antonio Models, like some page. Um, I love the way you captured movement, especially like with dancing. I'm not a dancer, but I <laughs> thought it was beautiful. You captured everything very beautifully. And I was like, that's someone that I would love to work with. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And, and so she just sent me a DM. And um, which I think is pretty awesome. Some people are a little bit nervous about that, but you know, what's the worst that you can say, right? I could, I could have said no. Um, and so sometimes I do. I'm at a point now in my photography career where I don't need to say yes to a collab all the time. But she had a concept and I liked the concept. I looked at her profile and saw that she had some experience, some work that she had done. Yeah. And so I thought, you know what? I think we can make this work. I like the idea. And uh, so here we are. So, but it doesn't always work that way. And so that's kind of where I want to discuss kind of behind the scenes as you get to see beautiful photos of this little uh, picnic area, um, when to collab and when not to collab. All right, you ready to go? Ready. Let's do it. Yeah, beautiful. So let's turn your body just a tiny bit more this way. And then you're gonna point that front toe for me. Yep, perfect. So to collab or not to collab. So when you're just starting out, whether you're a model or a photographer, uh, a lot of times you actually need work. You need people to kind of help. And some people use like family members. And I think that's a good thing to an extent. But when you really need to start stepping up your game is when you are starting to work with models or a good photographer. And so that's really where you're like, okay, what do I need to do? Do I need to pay for a model? Do I need to collab? Do I need to pay for a photographer or whatever. And there's definitely certain instances and times where you probably need to shell out a little bit of money. And once you get good enough to build up your portfolio from the model's perspective or the front photographer's perspective, then maybe you can not be spending the money and you're gonna be offering collab work or they will pay you and that type of thing. But um, collabing can be very fun. It's very creative. So what if we do on this one, let's bring that foot, foot, foot back just a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Can we bring the dress over both knees? Yep. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All I see. Yes. Oh, perfect pose. One, two, three. I'm going to turn your face just a tiny bit to turn up. Oh, I like that better. Yeah. One, two, three. Beautiful. What if we come in here? No, no, you're good, you're good. Um, actually, just offset the feet just a tiny bit. Bring one foot out a little bit more. Yep, yep, right there. Actually, bring the other foot out so we can see the tattoo. Yep. Uh, and then give me smiles on this one. I'll be happy, yeah. Beautiful. One, two, fix your hair real quick on this side. Gorgeous. Can we do like a little leg kick out? So you'll come here and just give me that, yeah. One, two, three, yes! 
Beautiful, one, two, three. <laughs> yes, fantastic. So the reason for the toe point, I don't know if you know, is it engages the calf and yeah. makes the legs yeah. look better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Which is again, if you're wearing heels, you're already in that position, but it makes the quads, the quads look better and the calves look better. And then you're gonna kind of straddle the box facing this way, so it's gonna be like a profile shot. Kind of like this one here. Yeah, so we've got the sun coming through the hair. You can be smelling the flowers. You can be doing something with whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's just in there. So I'll probably have you do a little bit of a lean forward and just keep that back arch for me. Oh, this is already beautiful. Oh, yes. So do this for me on this front foot. Come back up to the knee or bring, come up, yes, right there. Can we pull the dress down the thigh just a little bit more? Yep, right there. And that lean in, yep. One, two, three, uh, yeah. Let's see here. I'll, I'll show you, just, these are gorgeous. So, um, I need you to lean forward just a tiny bit more, right there, and then you're gonna go chin up. Yes. And you can pull the flower back up. These are gorgeous. One, two, three. What if we go um, the empty hand to your thigh, or your, not your thigh, your, your yeah, that, no, that. No, I like the thigh better. Yeah, right there. As a photographer, when you're younger or newer, what you need to really consider is working with a model who is experienced. If you're working with a model who's not experienced, just to get free work so that you can shoot, that doesn't necessarily give you the best option in my opinion. So what really helped me out was I was actually fairly comfortable with my camera and my flash, but I got to work with um, some models who were very experienced and what that allowed me to do is it allowed me to let them create in front of the camera while I honed my skills behind the camera. And being able to work with somebody like that is fantastic. And so if you are fairly new and you're gaining confidence with your camera, you might pay for a model rather than collabing um, because they are going to be better skilled in front of the camera, which will allow you uh, time to practice your skills behind the camera if I'm saying that correctly. As you continue to grow as that photographer and you start to understand more, that's where the collabing really comes in and you got like TFP and stuff like that to where you can work back and forth with each other, you know, time for prints or time for photos. Uh, and that's kind of what we're doing here. She's gonna get stuff out of it, I'm getting stuff out of it. And of course I get to actually show it on YouTube so that actually helps. Um, but then there's also that point for the model if they aren't as experienced, they might, need, <clears throat> they might need to reach out to a photographer who's got experience. If the model's looking to build her portfolio and she chooses a photographer who's crap, that's not gonna build her portfolio at all. And so she really needs to, or he really needs to, look for a photographer who's gonna be able to help build that portfolio. And that's where it's collabing or are you paying for service? And you just kind of have to figure that out as you go. Uh, I've been really fortunate to be able to work with uh, um, amazing creatives here in San Antonio um, to be able to collab together a lot. Uh, and that's really kind of the fun part of it is just that collab and creativity. Fantastic. Um, let's see here. <laughs> let's go here. And then just kind of look up that one. We got a little self laugh, yes. No flash on that one. Gorgeous. I like that, yeah. Yes, love that one. That one's fantastic. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Like that, just do like that. Just give me the leg pull and one step out. 
and, and twist across. Right, so you're here, pull. No, what I, I wouldn't even do that. Just give me the leg like you're walking right there, just like that. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yes, beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Eyes to the flash on this one. And give me that shoulder twist just like that. Take one step this way if you can. Mm -hmm. Right there. And this time look right into the light for me. One, two, three. Yes, gorgeous. One, two, three. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, man, I wish there was a way. I want some hair play on this one. But I don't know. It, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Just give me a step. And let's go ahead and I'll, I'll take the flowers. Got some beautiful lens flares here. Yes. Do that again. Hold on. That's awesome. I like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Yes, gorgeous. That is beautiful. So do the same thing, but bring, keep the hand close to me, down, maybe tuck on the dress. Sorry. So it's up there just to, it looks fine, but I want to get somewhere it's not blocking your face. Love the smile on it though. One, two, three. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. And then on this one, just go with your right hand up to the hair and just kind of maybe go back and then, you know what I mean? There we go. Yeah. Ah, oh, no flash. Come on, flash. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Kylie, yes, I love the little, I love the little closed eyes self thought. That's that's gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm gonna step back just a little bit more. Keep playing. Yeah. Yes. Right there. Hold that one. Look at the hand. Make a dancer out of you yet, Kylie? Those are gorgeous. Ah, oh, man, I missed that beautiful laugh too. Right there, gorgeous. Love it. You're gonna love these. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. It's the army thing. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes, oh my gosh, these are my favorites. Yeah, ready, ready, just don't fall. Ready? One, two, three. No, it looks gorgeous. All right. This is the grand finale right here. If you haven't realized yet, you need to collab. So I really didn't give a whole lot of tips. It's probably because I started having too much fun <laughs> with the shoot. But that's the fun part of collabing and creating. Uh, this is also the first time I've worked with Kylie and it's been incredible, at least on my part, hopefully. Yep. Good. Yes, this looks gorgeous. Let's go um, drop the flowers, both hands back to the hair. I, I like the hair play. It's, oh, and bring the dress up on that side too. Uh, the dress, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do a couple shots, three shots here, you play. Um, and then we're gonna go back down to the dress. Just kind of tug on the dress, yes, like that. Up nice and tall with the shoulders, but then tug it on the dress. No, we're gonna go hair play, three shots. One, two, three. Beautiful. Two and three. And a little teethy smile. Yes, gorgeous. All right, back down to the dress. And this is, yeah, yeah. 
Give me a little bit left shoulder. Yep, perfect. Dude. These are incredible. Love it. Give me a little bit of that self lap. Love that. All right, Kylie. So session one, how do we do? I don't want to step all over your jacket. <laughs> so, everything was just so good. Yeah, was yeah, was right great. until the end. She squirted freaking oranges, but the shots were great. I got a couple that were good, a couple that were out of focus, but I'll show them. They're fantastic. Oh, I had so much fun. Uh, yeah, beautiful photos. Great Thank work you. today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, again, I kind of lost my focus as far as what I was talking about. I just was having too much fun with this. Uh, but I do think it's important for photographers, especially portrait photographers, to collab. Whether you're collab, like say, for instance, my main market is high school students. And so I work with single individuals. And so I typically shoot when I collab single individuals um, or an individual session. So that's what you need to do. If you're a couples photographer, then maybe look for collabs with couples or people that can do couples posing. Um, I need a drink. <laughs> I need some orange juice. <laughs> uh, but it's very important to collab. It's very important to know where you are in that timeline of, of events, whether you need to pay for help or whether you are able to collab or whether they need to pay you. So just remember some of those things. If you have questions, please feel free because I lost track. Feel free to comment below. And um, Kylie, where can we find you on Instagram? Oh, my Instagram is Kylie, K-Y-L-I dot Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E. Nice. All right, so we need a round two session, right? Oh, absolutely. All right, so we're going to start planning the next session. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember, I've got a podcast that comes out every Tuesday, new videos like this every Wednesday. And make sure you hit the little bell for notifications. Be sure you're subscribed. And until next time, keep shooting. Bye. Thank you, Kylie.